Now, given that both Favreau and Filoni are working around the clock in order to really establish Star Wars Legends again and to bring that back to life, as well as giving fans a lot of the unused material for Legends that never even made it to the books and the comics way back when, that's also going to be used as material to be used in upcoming canon and stuff. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars updates. Also, by the way, guys, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support. It is greatly appreciated. Now, one thing that we are very well aware about when it comes to the overall universe that's being handled by Disney is that Kathleen Kennedy is still, to this day, struggling with Skeleton Crew and the Acolyte series because of several reasons that we have already gone over. And as of right now, John and Dave are helping out with both projects to an extent, you know, to an extent is the magical word there. But when you look at everything related to this, there are a lot of other complications happening behind the scenes. Now, ever since Iger took over Chapek as the Disney CEO, there's been a lot of changes happening over not just at Lucasfilm, but also over at Disney. We already know that his focus is changing from Star Wars TV shows to Star Wars movies again to really kind of gain more revenue for the actual Star Wars product. You know, they realize that obviously theatrical films bring in more revenue, that's a fact, because you're getting multiple viewings, you're going by ticket prices, you're going by all of that. So overall, on top of all of this, with that being said, Bob Chapek had a couple of things to say about not just Lucasfilm, but also a lot about Kathleen Kennedy and the truth about certain things of her. So let's tap right into this all, of course. Now, with Disney and Lucasfilm getting ready to make some drastic changes over at, of course, Lucasfilm as a company, creators like Favreau and Filoni are beginning to create what they like to call the golden age of Star Wars. However, in a recent interview with Fire Disney CEO Bob Chapek that he took part in, he went on to reveal a couple of things about Lucasfilm that fans may find controversial. Chapek went on to state the following to the fandom. When I was running the company, we had multiple complications happening over at Lucasfilm. The main one had to do with the creative differences between Miss Kennedy and what John and Dave were ambitious about with the brand. She wasn't supportive of their vision with all their upcoming shows, which put me and the board in a very tough spot, and it was a very difficult thing to deal with. We admire John and Dave, and so we wanted to stick with their vision and what they could show to the community on how they could provide something very valuable, not just for fans, but also to us here at Disney. So I want to just pause here quick of what he's saying. now. The thing about this that you guys may have missed a couple of days ago, we just talked about this, that Bob Chapek did indeed put it out there that Kennedy never wanted George on set. She never wanted him involved with, you know, him coming on set for The Mandalorian or for the Ahsoka Tano series or for any of that. She wanted nothing to do with him. She didn't want him in sight. It was real ugly stuff like that that Kathleen Kennedy demanded, and she got her way for a while, up until most recently, right? Now, given that there are a lot of things happening at the same exact time, there's a lot of drama with the Acolyte and Skeleton Crew, because you have John Watts handling Skeleton Crew, he's a good friend of John Favreau, but he's being led by Kathleen Kennedy on what to do. But Favreau is in helping certain bits and pieces of the Acolyte to a degree to at least prevent it from becoming a total nightmare. And the same exact thing goes as follows for Skeleton Crew, just an Acolyte, genuinely. Now, the thing about this too is that everything related to Kathleen Kennedy working on all of those two Star Wars shows and how they have had so many different setbacks it has cost Disney tons and tons of money on building sets, taking down sets, and building new ones up based on script changes. This is all a big inconsistency, inconsistency issue provided by Kathleen Kennedy, and it's been a problem for a very long time. So Chapek, of course, is putting it out there that there was always this struggle, this tug-of-war situation between Kennedy and both Favreau and Filoni and how she was never happy about their vision, and stuff like that. It's not all that big of a surprise. 
So, moving to the next thing here, Chapek goes on to state, Miss Kennedy never wanted George involved with any of our projects, not even the ones that John and Dave were developing, and are still to this day working on. It was my choice to give both of them positive promotions at Lucasfilm that would give them the tools to drive this franchise into a better position, and I made the choice to grandfather that in to the company so that it cannot be changed. Kathy wasn't fond of this and figured it was going to bring the franchise into a very delicate state, but we took the plunge and gave the keys to these two fine gentlemen that know this brand all the well. Now, again, say what you will about Chapek. I know a lot of fans don't like him. And myself included to a degree, I will admit, I think that he handled the Disney parks terribly, but when you look at Star Wars, he really made you know, a lot of fans days out there because he, like he just said here, handed the keys over to John and Dave. He allowed them to do whatever in the world they wanted to do with this franchise. He is the one that dwindled Kathleen Kennedy's creative power back in March of 2020. All right. If it weren't for that, we probably wouldn't even have the Ahsoka Tano series the way that we would want it or Mando season three and four the way that we would want it. You know, it could have very well have been the complete opposite. So there's a lot of things coming our way. Bob Iger wants to get rid of Kennedy. The plan is to fire her by August of 2023. And that is still in the cards. It is still a concrete plan to get Ron Howard to replace her. But Bob Chapek really putting it out there that there was always this big struggle and this need to get rid of George Lucas and to keep him away from sets and to just not allow him on set for the Mandalorian or for the Ahsoka Tano series. And it just goes to show you that she really does not like the guy. Now, I'm sure that there is a bigger portion to the story than we know, but there are said to be very specific reasons also, apart from what we already know, why Kathleen Kennedy has a grudge against George. Maybe it has something to do with his relationship with Steven Spielberg. We all know that Steven and Kathleen had a little bit of a falling out multiple years ago. Uh, so maybe it has something to do with that. Who knows? But at the end of the day, you know, this is a person that really made false promises to George and never really kept them and backstabbed him multiple times at that, by the way. She was supposed to use many of George's concepts for the Acolyte in the early versions of the scripts and the storyboards and those all got deleted on the flip of a dime just like that poof gone into the wind so anyways there's a lot of things happening too with john and dave trying to regulate the franchise trying to really drive it like bob chapek says into a more positive state and that's their aim that is their goal bob Iger has to pick up what chapek created because he grandfathered in like he said that John and Dave has power with, of course, Lucasfilm as a company and with the direction of the franchise. So that's good news. So overall, like I say, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys have to say about all this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time. <laughs>